Well, there's some brighter news on the Victorian jobs front tonight. 170 workers at a famous Broadmeadows biscuit factory will keep their jobs after a group of investors stepped in to buy the company. Francis Bell reports. Sweet news for a struggling manufacturing industry. Yeah, it's a very exciting time. Obviously 170 jobs saved in the northern suburbs of Victoria is, is a really big deal for the state. Anzac biscuit maker Unibic was in danger of crumbling after falling into voluntary administration this month. But a consortium of private investors and senior executives has stepped in to buy the Broadmeadows plant. They've renamed the company and promised workers they'll keep their jobs. I've been working here for 22 years, Lucy 35 years. It's like our life here. It's like a family, like coming to work every day. But many more Victorians are still looking for work, with last week's unemployment figures showing the state's economy has shed 27,000 jobs in the past six months. Exactly how many people need to lose their jobs before the Premier will start doing his? Jobs were the focus of a heated question time. Mr Speaker, we... The Leader of the Opposition, you can lead the chamber for 30 minutes. In a rare sight, the Opposition was left without a leader, as Daniel Andrews joined his deputy James Molino in being kicked out of the chamber Order! under the Speaker's new zero-tolerance approach to rowdy MPs. As for his own job, the Premier brushed off the latest opinion poll showing an 11-point dive in his personal approval rating since October. We are getting on with the job, that's what you'd expect us to do, that's what the community expect us to do, that's what we are doing. And he won't be drawn on any difficulties the government is having finding someone to head up the state's yet-to-be-established anti-corruption commission. When, we've, when we have uh, reached a conclusion as to the best candidate, uh, we'll make an announcement at the appropriate time. The government's promised to have the commission operating by the middle of the year. Francis Bell, ABC News, Melbourne.